Hi, my name is Matthew, and I will be your learning guide for this video, a system of equations and an ordered pair. Example number one. A system of equations generally defines two lines. Line one and line two. Consider a point here that is only on line one. It is only a solution to the first equation. That is, it is the solution to the equation of line one. Consider a point here on line two. It is a solution to the second equation or the equation for line two. Consider a point here at the intersection of the two lines. This is a solution to both equations. That is, it is both on line one and on line two. Now consider a point that could be in any other position that is neither on line one nor on line two. This is not a solution to the equation for line one, and it's not a solution to the equation for line two. Let's take a look at example number two. Here we have two parallel lines, line one and line two. Notice the point could be on line one and a solution to the equation for line one, or a point could be over here on line two and therefore a solution to equation for line two. And a third option is that it could be somewhere between them, outside of them, but it is neither on line one or line two. But also notice in this scenario, when you have two parallel lines, there's no possibility for the intersection of the two equations or the two lines, meaning that the point is either on one line or the other, but never both. Let's take a look at example number three. There are times when the line for line one is exactly equal to the line for line two. We often call these overlapping lines. A point, if it's on line one, is also on line two. If a point is on line two, it is also on line one. Because these lines overlap everywhere, any point is always, always a solution to the equation for both lines because it exists on both lines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this one on your academic journey through math. Leave a comment below and let me know which example you found most helpful. Check out more free content at tutoringbymatthew.com.